We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. Even I have to write now that anger. I want you to hold on to that because that malice you feel in your heart is more dependable than any contract killer or hitman, third person. Can you do that, Brian? Is your hatred big enough to sustain you? Yes. You remember that. I'm a violent man. I'm a terrible, powerful, violent man. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Do it live. I'll write it and we'll do it live. The truth is that you're a sick, twisted man. Value loyalty above all. to hold on to that you're a monster yes wow you are so damaged <laughs> what a story mark you can act like a man what's the matter with you okay. we'll do it live okay all right guys we are live here we got the angle or angle however you prefer to pronounce it uh powerball IK Multimedia, Amplitude 4. I've gone through another angle before that I really like from Plugin Alliance. We'll test these a little bit back and forth. I'm going to focus on this one here uh, from Amplitude. So first up, just hear a little bit about uh, how it sounds. By the way, you can get Amplitude 4 uh, Custom Shop CS for free. Now this amp here isn't free but you can get the uh, custom shop for free and you can buy just the uh, parts uh, that you want. I think I have that link already in the uh, description below. All right, so got our nine string guitar on right now. And we're, we're talking through the Rode Procaster into the Zoom H6. So if you wanna buy those things, you can always head to the uh, Benoni Studio on uh, Amazon. All right, done with all that stuff. Let's hear a little bit of this here. Go through it a bit. That's the seventh string, it's tuned to A. That's the eighth. Sounds pretty good, right? Ninth. All right, so before I go through this, um, before, I go, before we go through this amp here, we'll test it a little bit back and forth with the other angle, which is not a Powerball, but it's a the E646 uh, VS, or no, 646 VS, from uh, Plugin Alliance, which is one of my absolute favorite uh, guitar amps, uh, you know, plugins. So let's unmonitor that and monitor the angle. So it's a different sound overall, right? Back to the amplitude. So they're both very useful 
you know, I hear more mids in the E646 VS. If you set up the angle right here in Amplitube, it's actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, it can get a bit hairy on the top end, but uh, if you adjust your microphones, it gets, uh, it gets better. Uh, dropping some frames here on the stream. If you can't catch the stream, there will be a recording, which will be full 1080p, so don't worry about that. All right, on to, if we'll look at, let me actually maybe hit that. So if we grab, oh, by the way, I should probably mention up top here, I'm using Stereo Maker on both the angles, both of, both, both of these angles here. So Stereo Maker I talk about a lot. So of course that makes the sound closer to like a double tracked, which is very useful whenever you're just, you know, playing around. If that wasn't on, so Amplitude would sound like this. Just straight down the middle. We can see that here uh, with Insight. So you know what I mean. If we look at our sound field here. All right, turn Stereo Maker back on. Much wider there. So if you get this angle here, which you can buy individually, and it doesn't sound the same way it's sounding here, that's because it's, you know, I'm simulating double tracking live here. All right, now this is not the same thing as double tracking as I always say, but just uh, keep that in mind. And this angle is also going through the cabinet, the uh, XXL, the E412 uh, Pro XXL. And it's gonna sound radically different. I mean, radically different. <laughs> depending on the cab you use. So if we go for the standard. Right, or if we go through closed vintage or something. So you, you get the idea. And these cabinets are actually different purchases from the uh, from the actual amp. We'll get into this stuff a little bit later whenever we go through it. We can also set up different chains. So right now it's just one amp, one cab. You can also go to something like two amps there, two cabs, a bunch of different routing options. We're just going to stay on the uh, number one. But like this, we could have a different amp here if we, if we wanted to. We're just going to focus on this one. Back to the other angle. If we look at Insight here. So this one here is for the Plug-in Alliance angle, the E646VS. And if I grab Insight for Isotope, or for uh, Amplitube, put that up here. And if I monitor both of these, and make sure I turn down this master output here. We can see the differences. So there's a bit of a scoop in the mids on the Powerball. And a few more mids on the E646VS. Uh, of course, there's other differences, obviously, but I always like to see that on this on the spectrum there. Also, on our angle from Plugin Alliance, of course, we have our recording chains, so which is basically your impulse responses. So you can get radically different sounds with this one as well. Back to Amplitube. All right. 
So what if we heard this real quick? Um, with some drums, just so we can get an idea of what it would sound like. This is the amplitude here. Start from the beginning again there. Back to the beginning on that. find a find a different groove here Listening for is you know, the frequencies that we're going to really hear that are going to pop through whenever you have drums going as well. So we're switching back and forth between these two here. Let me put this here, our plug in alliance angle. Let me put this back on secret setup B. It's one of my favorite ones. But you have tons, you know, obviously, tons of ones that you can uh, choose from there. 16 is also pretty good, 17 is pretty good. Here's 16. Test that next to the Powerball. Come back up here. So, just something straight here for a groove. Let me grab something from over here. See what we got here. That's better. I just want them kind of straight. Go 90 BPM on that. All right, so plug in alliance. Ready?
to the Plug-in Alliance. So much different there. You really hear this. hear it on those single string runs there. So the, make sure this is off here. The E646BS has more mids different kind of character in the mid. Obviously, I don't want to go over this thing too much because I've gone over it plenty. Of course, you have that middle voice that you can turn down. Right. And then back to Amplitude. So they're both actually pretty great amps. But obviously, with the angle, you might have to uh, do... Uh, well, I mean, actually, with both of them, you probably have to do some post-processing. On it, for the angle, I might pull out some more of those mids afterwards. Just sort of depends, you know, on exactly what... Which of these I'm using, which of the uh, recording chains, because it is radically different, you know. Turn my guitar back up. Actually, let me get, get this back on here. And... So radically different. I usually leave this one on secret setup B. All right, so enough of this here. Enough of that. Just want to look at the interfaces real quick. So I've gone over this angle here from Plugin Alliance to E646VS. If you know this interface here, you'll probably know this interface here. They're very similar, actually. So obviously you got all your, all of your, uh, your tone knobs, your bass, your mid, treble clean. You have treble crunch for your clean channel. Same thing over here for the Amplitude version. You have your treble clean, treble crunch. There you have a mid open and a mid focused here on uh, Amplitude. Over here we have middle and then middle voiced, but we have this button to switch that here. And I have that monitored, right? So that's middle voiced is off. We can control that here. I'll turn it on. Where you really hear that. Right, you really hear it there on those single uh, strings. Let's get this out of the way. Head back to Amplitude here. So we have clean channel, so channel one or channel two. And this amp actually cleans up pretty nice. Let me make sure this is on low gain. through Amplitude here, but you have rack effects, depending on, you know, what you have, what, you know, what you've purchased. Turn that off. So this amp, of course you have stomps and two, again, I'm not going through Amplitude before, we're just really looking at this this amp here. Now just like the Powerball, the Engel E646VS also gets extremely clean. These are two really great amp models. Again, this here is from IK Multimedia. This here is from Plugin Alliance.
This one here is going to run you about $150. Uh, this is about $35. Okay, that's, a, that's if you buy it with just, just that model. And I think, I think it's another $10 for the cab, I believe. At least for the one I'm using. All right. But, you know, this one here cleans up really, really well, too. So put that on clean. This is Plug-in Alliance now. Completely clean. And you all, you have delay built in here. Just choose how much you want in there. It's going to go crazy dirty. Just a switch there. Make sure I turn this off. There. All right. So enough of that amp. Back to the amplitude. Let's go through this now. That's clean. You have open or focus for your mids, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, what else should we go through here? So, your, of course, your input gain there, or your channel one gain. crank it up still very clean until we switch this to high gain here and now as you can see it switches our volume so if I turn this off we're gonna use this volume knob here All right switch on this it's a little bit crunchy let me turn this down the volume here now we can up the gain a bit and get kind of crunchy still pretty clean but not completely Obviously, your bass, your mid, uh, your mid, treble crunch here for our crunch channel there. However, you want to adjust that mid bass. That's all self-explanatory there. Then you have these two switches. So bright. Just switch my pickup. Take bright off. bottom Just let me go down here turn it off back on so a little bit more of that low end. You can actually have both of them on if you want as well. So that's basically your clean channel. If I switch my pickup. Your low gain, high gain switch there. So even cleaner now. jazz with that if you want <laughs> all right presence depth and punch we'll get to whenever we cover this channel here but you can you can obviously have your channel your presence and your uh, depth punch there but on to the channel two. switch it right here may not be obvious but switch that there we go so we all have again two volume knobs very similar to the E646 uh, VS, Master A, Master B, although they work a little bit differently over here. So right now we're on the low lead volume. Let me switch the pickup again there. Just your gain, however you want. It's pretty saturated, even with that low gain on. Set this up however you want. We'll get to the open focus in a minute, but let's go ahead and switch over to the other channel. Just by hitting the low or high gain switch, when it's red, you'll see you'll switch over here. 
to your high lead volume. So I'll turn it off again. I'll turn it on. Much more saturated there. Turn it down if you want. If you want that kind of a gainy sound. Pull it up even more. You don't need to go way high. You can go way high, but man, it gets really saturated up here, man. Just listen to that. You can almost feel the saturation in there. That's way too much. You can't even play with that. So, seven is probably the, really as high as you'd ever really need to go. Six, probably enough. Yeah, still good gain there. So again, we have buttons here, high bottom or high lead bottom and low lead bottom. That's both of them off. Low lead bottom on. High. actually have both of them on if you want. Turn the other one on. So it gets a little more boomy there, you know. That different sort of surrounding uh, low end. So I have my bass down a bit here. So even with it down, we're still getting a good low end response. Right. Turn it off. So it just depends on where you want to set your parameters for each of your, you know, different uh, tone knobs. We also have the depth, this depth punch. So I'll leave this off for now so we can look at this. Pull it down. Let's pull it up. Again, different kind of a different kind of a lower in sound. Probably too high, but you can get the idea there. I pull it out. It's more focused, but whenever I'm just playing around, I'd like to have it up a little bit. That's better. And I actually like those on. Turn this down a bit here. There. Pull that one off. That's pretty good there. A little bit less on this. All right, so presence. Pull the presence out. pull it way up it gets pretty tinny right can't even play with that way too much but you can dial as much as that in as you need I think we're good there. All right, very good. 
So now we have the open and focused for your different knobs here, mid open, mid focused. Right now it's off. Pull it way down. Way up. Then we have focused. So it is a more, you know, mid focused down there, focused uh, mid. Way too much. So it's a little too much, but I like that uh, focus to myself. And of course you have your other, you know, your bass, your treble. That's all basic stuff, your master. All right, down here we got a threshold, or I'm sorry, a noise gate, your threshold release, and of course the depth of that. So basic stuff there. So that uh, noise gate's coming on. If I turn it down, you're going to hear that noise. So it'll cut it off. Pretty cool. Turn this gain down a little bit. A little less there. Maybe slightly less here. All right, so that looks, looks good there. Now let's move on to the cab. Tons of options back here, man. Cabinet, speakers, microphone, depending on you know what you have. We have our... Uh, Turn it back up. Studio B, big live room if you want. A booth. Sort of the space we're in. See those two microphones up top here? You can change their width right there. So that's probably good there. But you can go really wide if you want. Go to Studio... Uh, be here. Of course, your basic mixer. So if you just want to hear one microphone, solo it here, solo it here. Back to the cabin. Again, I'm using the uh, uh, 412 Pro XXL. <laughs> That is a different purchase. And I don't have any of these here. You can buy them one by one if I go to a different cabinet. Obviously, obviously it's going to sound radically different. For this amp, I really like the E412 Pro XXL. More than the standard. better there. You can go through your different speakers if you want. It's just pretty cool they have all this in here. So as you can see, we you can select your speakers up here. They're highlighted right here. Change them around. find whatever you want you can also change different speakers so I could have a different speaker over here and put this back on the vintage B I could have two different speakers if I wanted to or four if I wanted to if I want this mic here which is our condenser going through that darkness <laughs> Sounds pretty good, actually.
change this back to that one there. Very good. Then you have your microphones. You can actually go go back to the cab here. We can move our microphones around however you want. As I mentioned up top, you have different chains. So if I wanted to go through two cabs, I could go through two cabs. As you can just look at the signal flow here. Here's two amps, two cabs. So you can have more than one cab if you want. Doesn't sound good here because we're going through uh, this this clean amp here at the same time. But just keep that in mind. Go back here. Back to the cab. So if I go back to the mixer here. Just solo this microphone here. Choose where you want to put it. Microphone, however you want, same thing. Just sounds fine there, but wherever you want to put it. You also have things like pan, but it's not going to make a difference here. Since we're technically on a mono track, even though we have stereo maker going, it's not really going to make much of a difference here. But you could use like a stereo instance of this uh, if you wanted to but we're just using uh, the mono. Of course, adjust your levels between those uh, as well, your different microphones. Too boomy for me, turn that one down, turn up the SM57. Almost, a little bit off, try that. pretty good there of course you can change your microphones again depending on you know which ones you have access to I don't have a ton of them I have a few you can all you can also buy these individually you can also adjust your microphones from here which is kind of cool so we're dealing with the second microphone here with the condensor the uh, condenser you can also pull it back further away if you want. You should probably hear better if I just solo just that one. Switch microphones. course make sure you listen to them in conjunction if you're using two of course so that's way too crunchy so that's why I had the other microphone switch it back to this one here turn my guitar up I'm gonna pull it back a little there we go so we have the 57 here Maybe try the Dynamic 20. Bit much on that one. I like the uh, 57. It's a 421. It's not too bad. Turn down the master a little bit. We're getting a bit hot. Nah, 
Yeah, I like the 57. <laughs> Even though the 57 on its own sounds kind of thin, you have a bit uh, on the top end, you know. But once you pull in that condenser, because of the way it lines up, the phase and whatnot, nice powerful sound there. You can also flip things around, mute solo, we already went through that. Then we have the room. So if you just want to hear the room, you turn it up so you can really hear it. So you're blending that in, which is something you might do with impulse responses, which is, by the way, it's one of the reasons why the angle from Plugin Alliance sounds so good. It's because, you know, they model, they model full chains, you know. Uh, sometimes they're going through an EQ, sometimes they're going through three or four microphones, uh, obviously whatever's captured in the room. Uh, that's one of the reasons why this is probably one of the best uh, guitar amps out there. My opinion, yeah, anyway. But this one here, pretty good too. I actually forgot I had this one. <laughs> I had this angle for a few years, actually. Totally forgot I had it. Figured I'd better go through it too. So just obviously uh, dial that in however you want. You can adjust the width of that, you want it wide, more narrow, different microphones, of course different studios, in a garage, so all of this is going to add different, you know, a different character, a different sound, a fullness to your, uh, your full mix there of your direct microphones directly on the cab versus the ones back here in the room. Adding some width. Turn it down a bit. Probably don't want that too loud, but you can, you can obviously make it louder if you want to use it for like effects. So it's too high right now. I have to turn down the master a bit more. If you pull it up too high. hear the roominess in that so somewhere down here is probably enough really just to sort of dial in amount you know an amount of the airiness a bit of width to that total sound If you want gent, this thing will do gent, especially once you combine it with your threshold here, your noise gate, pull that way up high, not high enough, still not high enough, really pull it up, should cut right off. A little too high, just dial it into whatever uh, works there. And gentle way. That's pretty much all that I wanted to look at here. A lot of options here in Amplitude 4. Again, you can get the custom shop version, which is actually the version I'm using. I'm using the custom shop version. I've just purchased, you know, different models of uh, amps and cabs and uh, guitar amps uh, individually, which you can do within the custom shop, which I can't show you here. But download it. Again, I have a link in the description below. You can download it for yourself. And also you can try out uh, all of the amps. Uh, within uh, within Amplitude, but you can try them out for like three days. So you can always try them out before you uh, want to actually buy them. You have a bunch of rack gear. If they're locked, that means you don't have them. I don't even know what I have in here. Not very much, apparently. <laughs> what do I have? I know I have some. Digital delay, EQ, Harmonator, which is pretty cool. This Harmonator has been... I, I've had this for probably since Amplitude 2. Change the interval. Level P. 
pan. Unison. Might sound better and clean there. A lot of stuff you can do here. Back to the cab. Let me change this back to the studio. I like Studio uh, B. Yep, there we go. There we go. Studio B. That's the microphone I want. There we go. Engle E646, or I'm sorry, 412 Pro. All right. Don't have those cabs. What do I have here? It's a closed J12. <laughs> Don't like that one. And if there's something you want to try, you just click on it and then uh, choose yes. And you can use it for up to, uh, up to three days and decide if you want to get it or not. It will open up custom shop. They have a ton of stuff. It's a bass. Whoa. Not that one. Not that one. Here's the metal T1. Was not too bad. But for this amp, if you're gonna get it, definitely suggest between you know choose between one of the actual angle one of the actual angle head um, cabinets. XXL just sounds so much better. At least in my opinion. For, uh, you know, because I'm using a nine string here, so that XXL helps it reverberate more. It's a larger cabinet overall. Back to the standard again. This is the eighth string here. that ninth string pretty well as well all right so that's sort of behind you know behind the amp or behind you know into the cabinet section because these cabinets are going to make a gigantic difference to your actual sound so if you buy i'm just mentioning this because if you just buy the angle and it doesn't sound anything like this that's because you don't have the right cabinet <laughs> if you're just using one of the free cabinets it ain't going to sound like this at all not even close uh, I think these microphones will be included. I think you'll get a U87. I know you'll get the 57, but uh, I think you'll get the... I'm not sure if you'll get this one or not. I think you might. Custom Shop comes with... Um, turn that down. A, well, you can figure it out for yourself. It's free. Uh, 24 pieces of, uh, of gear. You can always buy... Uh, yeah, five cabs, three mics, yeah. That's what the free version has. I have a few more than that because I've already uh, bought stuff over the years. But this link will be in the description. It will also be in the description once the replay goes up. Probably tomorrow sometime. Worth uh, worth getting. And again, you can always demo your different uh, amps. And there's a ton of amps that uh, IK Multimedia has a bunch. It's a dual rectifier which I'm actually just trying out here. That's way too loud. I mean, it's all right. It's all right, but the angle, in my opinion, is way better. We also have a 650, 
which, uh, you know, it's not bad, but it's not, you know, it's not for nine string, at least not for what I would want. Contour, high, high gain, that down a bit more. This down a bit more. This here. Turn the mid down, treble up. Here. Obviously, you'd have to probably change up your cab for this. I try the standard on this. It's all right. But they did a really good job. And it's an officially licensed model, by the way, The uh, these angles are, which is why they can use the uh, branding there. This one here, the Powerball, if you're going to get one for metal, this one here. And it's not, you know, it's not bad overall. So I think I think it's like 35 bucks. They'll usually have sales on these two, by the way. I mean, with the Black Friday coming up, who knows what they're going to have. So if you can't get, or maybe you don't like, the E6 uh, 46VS from Plugin Alliance, which again is $150. $150. <laughs> Can't, can't get this one or don't want to get this one because of just the way that mid is contoured in the E646VS. This one here is also a really good one for all different kinds of metal. Death metal, genty metal. Speed metal, thrash, whatever you want. This depends on what you like. What's also a cool thing you can do because these, these are, of course, different amps. You could actually put them both on uh, and track them both in your DAW. It sounds pretty good together, actually. Right, they sound good, good together there. Pull this back up. Just hold down Alt and click that, and you'll set that back to default here in Pro Tools. focused really helps bring through those really low strings you know go to open it's not a bad sound right it's just different so if we do like a pedal tone and then hit some single strings. Focus really helps with that. They pop through much better there. Right, man. So that's pretty much all we need to look at here. That's the Engel Powerball from IK Multimedia here in uh, Amplitude 
4. This is an officially licensed model, just as the angle is from Plugin Alliance. Again, very different amps uh, from a you know tone, tone wise, especially in that mid area. That's where you're going to hear most of the difference. But obviously, your cabinet is going to make a huge difference uh, as well. So if I choose this cabinet, will of course sound radically different. Seventeen's a pretty good one. Seventeen, sixteen, seventeen, forty-four. Back to the Powerball. <laughs> Right, and let me pull this up one more time. Radically different amplifiers, especially in that mid section. But of course, with EQ, you can carve things out. But both of these are pretty good, uh, pretty good amps, especially for metal, and not even for metal actually, because uh, or I mean, not only for metal actually, because again, they clean up incredibly well. Both of them get extremely clean. There it is, man. Powerball.
Okay. Didn't go through the uh, stomps, but there's stomps you can uh, use in here too. But this angle sounds you know, more than good enough. I don't need any distortion on the front end, although you could always you know, try something like a green screamer if you want to clean up the bottom a bit. Turn your dry down, or sorry, your drive down. And don't want the level too much. That'll tighten up the bottom a little bit. Right. Turn it back off. Hit that bottom. Back on. That's one trick you can use. If it's a little too boomy and you don't want to put too much drive on it, but you just want to clean up that bottom, another way to do that is with your green screamer. Been doing that for years, even with uh, real amps. But there it is. This is the Engel Powerball. Looked at it live here from IK Multimedia here for Amplitube 4. Again, you can get Custom Shop for free. Comes with, uh, what is it, 24 pieces of gear. Link will be in the description below. Grab this for free. And purchase whatever amps you want individually. Of course, you can always, always just buy a full pack as well. But this one here, the Engel Powerball, is definitely worth uh, picking up if you if you like metal anyway. Or even if you wanted like a really good clean amp uh, as well. Since we can get extremely clean with this thing. Turn that off there. Pick up one one last time. Right back to dirty. Go check it out if you want. Again, link in the description below. Engel Powerball. Also using the XL cab here. That's the one I definitely prefer. Once again, that is a separate purchase. The the cab is a different purchase from the uh, from the amp. There it is, man. Plugins Live, Engel, Powerball, IK Multimedia, and uh, for Amplitude Four. Check the link in the description if you want to download Custom Shop uh, for free. There, and you can check through all the amps and also demo. Get this off a of solo there, and uh, demo them. Uh, for three days again. Works great on this nine string guitar too.
buy in custom shop. So there are some things you can't do, of course, with uh, the free version here. So our inserts we can't do, but your cabs and your amps, your stomps, you can do all that stuff. Buy online now. No thanks. There we go. But you have access to your cabs, your racks, and uh, your stomps. Even has a tuner, I didn't even show that. Just pop that on. Tuner built in, which is always nice to have a tuner you know, right within your uh, guitar software there. And also experiment with your chains here if you've never used Amplitude before. This is something they've had for years. A bunch of different routing options. Ingle Powerball, uh, IK, yeah, this is the IK Multimedia. Ingle Powerball, IK Multimedia, again, plug-in alliance, the Ingle E646VS. Look for it to come up on sale on, hopefully, Black Friday. Uh, that's when they usually have it on sale, if you want to pick up that one as well. Otherwise, it's going to be 150 bucks. This one here from Amplitube, again, usually about $35 or so. You can buy it right from the uh, custom shop. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. The feeling you have right now, that anger. I want you to hold on to that because that malice you feel in your heart is more dependable than any contract killer or hitman, third person. Can you do that, Brian? Sure. Hatred big enough to sustain you? Yes. You remember that. <laughs> 